Zach! 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 I'm doing it! This is pretty cool. I'm doing it! <laughs> My bun is so tall. If I get too close, it's totally gone. Basically, I am going to be cooking something today because multiple reasons keeps me busy so I don't get sad and then also number two if my boyfriend ever decides to cook for me he can yay <laughs> because this is a little bit more impromptu I just couldn't wait a day to film it's probably going to be like a little sad and boring but that's okay yes yes Yes. What we have in our refrigerator today is tofu. Tofu. Hey. Okay. So we have our tofu. It's just regular, like Trader Joe's brand. Uh, Trader Joe's, Safeway, QOC, Fred Meyer, all them guys have like the same kind of tofu. Tetsun Tofu has super good tofu. They make it in house and um, in Seattle. You can get different kinds, but their firm tofu is just really nice and uh, more firm than like extra firm tofu at regular American stores. Okay, here we go. So we're going to cut the tofu. We have our tofu cubes, squares. Next, we're going to put them on a plate and make them look pretty. Pretty, pretty enough. This is tofu art. This dish in general is just super delicious um, as like an appetizer for a party or something. Or if you're just like me and you're lazy and you're thinking, oh, you know, it's like seven. What is it? It's, oh, it's actually eight o'clock and, and I should eat dinner, but I don't really want to cook too much. I don't want to put the effort in, but I want something yummy. I got you with this one. On to the toppings. Next step, ginger. Should we do some ginger art? Yeah, let's do some ginger art. Now we're gonna add it to our tofu. We're just gonna sprinkle it everywhere. So, my bad, that was actually too much ginger. Um, spatial reasoning, whoops. But anyways, so I'm gonna save that for later because I'll probably make something that uses that ginger tomorrow. So no harm. Now to the green onions. I should have put the oyster sauce on first to make it pretty. I've never filmed this before, so I've never really thought about the aesthetics um, until now. But if I put the oyster sauce on before I put the ginger and the green onions, then the ginger and green onions will pop against the brown oyster sauce. Otherwise, it just looks like a bunch of like brown oyster sauces on top. Well, oh well, for next time. 
Or maybe that's what my double ginger is for. Or my remaining ginger is for. So we're gonna add the oyster sauce now. This is the uh, best oyster sauce. You can tell because you should always look for the boy in the boat. My mom told me that and now I told you that. But shoots, I wish I had put it on before the ginger and green onions. Oh well. This first meal is gonna look a little brown. That's okay, brown is beautiful. Do you just hear me and laugh at me? You know, actually that doesn't look so bad. Well, maybe it still looks pretty. I'm gonna put some extra green onions on just in case. Give it some color. Oyster sauce is powerful. Like, it's very strong, so. Mm, a little goes a long way. Now the very last piece to finish your meal or your appetizer or whatever is the rice, which is super important. And voila, we're done. Easy, easy meal when you forget to cook or you're just too tired or, or it's hot and you want something cold or you just need to bring an appetizer to an Asian family household or something. But yeah, we're done, yay. And I'll, I'll, I'll uh, take a picture of it with the fancy camera. Yum. Yeah, that's pretty good. You wanna try? Perfect ginger piece. Oh, I thought you were, uh... I'll produce you. Actually, this needs more ginger. Mm-hmm.